I'm back. Sorry for the long wait, everyone. I've been gone for a while. I had a non-renewal from my insurance company, so I had to do a lot of housework and then had a trip to Colombia for work. Yes, Colombia, the country. I go there once every six weeks for about, or once every six months for about a week. And I'm playing some of the set revival. I played a few games on it already just with friends, but let me know if you enjoy this set. Because to me, this is like a new set completely. That's what I see it as. I'd like to play the Draconic build, but I like Vlad a lot too. I hate Hellion. I've not been a fan of Hellion. But they did do an update yesterday. And also, right now, I'm kind of terrified of next week as well. Nautilus. Yeah, next week. I, I live in southwest Florida, so these hurricanes have been getting to me too. Syndra? I do like Syndra. Syndra, Leona. Haven't really played much Abomination either. That's what I have in the team planner right now. Ooh, let me sell this tit tin. I have to sell something tit tin there. Soraka? I don't have an Udir. I just have random Zyra. I feel like this actually is not that good. I'm kind of down just to take Wandering Trainer. Forgotten? Redeemed. Okay, I'll play Redeemed. Aatrox. Level throw in the Aatrox. I don't have a Redeemed on my bench at all if I take you out. I lose Forgotten. Invoker Knight, you're a Knight. Kind of like that better. If I could throw in Olaf, I would. Also, Sejuani is just very good in general. But it looks like I'm just selling all these and then just playing straight up Redeemed. So Redeemed is a little weird. They gain armor, MR, and AP, and whenever they die, it splits between all the remaining Redeemed units. So I need to look at what does a Redeemed slash Forgotten comp look like. And I don't think I'm going to slam here, unfortunately. I'm going to hit gold. I shouldn't have sold the Callista, I don't think. So who is the redeemed carry? Also, this Aatrox is insane. Uh, redeemed carry is Velkaz. Okay, so I need to build for an AP game. Ooh, a Syndra 2 for free? Don't mind if I do. Rel is like a stunner, so she's always going to be good in these comps either way. And then Velkaz and Kale. So I need to build for Kale for sure, too. Yeah, I'd much prefer not to build a Sunfire. I think I can get two good tank items out of it. Ah, the dummy getting targeted last is really bad here. Okay, so then we have Kale. That's eight. If I get another emblem, I can get to ten, which seems crazy. I'm going to move over one to the left. Hopefully that doesn't happen again with the dummy getting targeted last. I have everything into the team planner. I kind of want to put an invoker in... But I'd prefer for it to be like some kind of a forgotten invoker, but I don't think there is one. There isn't. I am a big fan of this Syndra unit. The Syndra unit's really fun. So she picks up units, like whatever she's targeting, and then she tosses it at the farthest unit. So she'll pick it up, toss it, and deals a whole bunch of damage in the process. And then the knight trait, the reason I put it in is just blocks a flat amount of damage. Early, I feel like that seems very good. There is an ironclad knight. What is this? What, can, can I make a redeemed emblem with that? I wouldn't have been able to, so it wouldn't matter. Really would like tier. I guess I'm taking rod. I guess I probably should just build a sunfire at this point. It feels bad, but uh, I guess I, I am wind streaking slightly. I have a golden remover. I'm going to do it. Sunfire and then Rod. Because I want to build for Kale as well, which is Rageblade Hodge Edge of Night, I think. Yeah, Rageblade Hodge Edge of Night. Looking at TFT Academy, at least it is. And I am going to want to fast level here, and having the early Syndra too should help with that.
Oh, that was a bad Cinder ult. 50 gold. I am very happy just chilling right now. It looks like I'm not going to use this Forgotten Emblem, which kind of sucks. Just there isn't anything that's very good to throw in. I might end up beating this guy. Also, one thing about this set, there are so many stuns. Like, so many units that stun. So I feel like QSS is higher value than normal. And we do end up winning. I'd prefer to lose that fight, honestly. And there's a Lux for free. We take those. I need a Varus, but for now I just chill. Yeah, this new uh, Hurricane slash Tropical Storm is projected to be like right next to me. I'm a big fan of Yasuo, by the way. I've only played him like once so far, but he was very good. Ooh, a Spat and my Rage Blade. I can make the 10 redeemed, so that's where I'm going now. Might as well throw you in. Redeemed is a Cloak. I'm going to build Rage Blade, Reforge Bow. Got armor. Okay, that's fine. We'll just put that here for now. I also got an extra Syndra. I don't actually need this extra Syndra, though. So this Assassin trait. Assassin traits are always, like, not very fun to play against. But what's kind of crazy with Syndra is that she takes them and says, Yeah, never mind. Go away. See you later. Unfortunately, he has two here. It looks like the two did not matter, though. I should put the sword on something. When you have a golden remover, you should pretty much always have all of your components slammed. I guess I should just slam Edge of Night, right? Okay, I have Rage Blade Edge of Night. I'm not taking Legionnaire Emblem. Or you have my bow. Let's look at this. Three traits? And that's not bad at all for vertically inclined. I'm in. Ooh, Velkaz. All right, let's slam Sunfire. I'm actually going to take Yasuo out for Night instead. Rage Blade, Edge of Night. Sell these Yasuos off. So normally my secondary carry is going to be Velkaz. My main carry is going to be the Kale. And then my main tank will be Rel once I find it. And I think I am just going to sell this off. Just get some extra gold. Send, send the unit away, Syndra. That was an okay one. Could have been better. Bang. There we go. See, the stuns. Like, there are so many units that stun. Also, anytime you play this, there are four or 50 of each unit. So, you can always hit a three-star if you really have enough. Forgotten Invoker. I guess I can throw in Karma as an Invoker. Go below 50, but that's fine. And here we're going to get a Radiant item. And I think once you fall below 40 health, you always get something as well. This is the Draconic trait. So you get basically Golden Eggs once you have 5 Draconic. And it just drops like normally 2 to 5 gold per turn. Which is still a very large amount. Oh, wow. We won that fight. I really want a cloak. There's no rel on the carousel, so I'm not worried about that. I think I just go for the cloak if I can. If I can't get that, I should go for tier. Or, yeah, it's just tier. There's a cloak over there I'll still take. Give me my redeemed emblem. Oh, and I hit the Galio. So the chicken is another knight. He has another taunt effect. And you can be redeemed now. I'm still missing the Varus. If I had Varus, I would have, have eight redeemed right now. And I'd like I'm still on pretty much all one stars other than the Syndra. Well, that's not very good positioning for this fight. Oh, we killed the back line with our Syndra there. Remember, we get extra armor and MR, too. So all these units have extra armor and MR right now. No, don't pull my Syndra over. 
I guess he has an Edge of Night, so it's not that bad. That's still a win. All right, what are you going to give me? Show me the Radiant items. Rascal's Glove, Earth Angel's Staff. I'm like between those two mainly. I think Rascal's Gloves is the best for just win streaking. The Warmogs actually isn't that bad either. I'm going to take Rascal's though. Especially noting that I have a Golden Remover. I'd love to be able to go fast 10 this game. I doubt that's going to happen. But I am still winning a lot of these fights, wildly enough. There's Rel and Varus. Sweet. I can go Rel in. I'll just hold the Varus and then level and play Karma. Get Invoker back in. Invoker is your entire team gains mana. And the majority of the time, Rel is going to be holding my Rascal's Gloves, I think. Tier is good. That's half of my Hodge. Cloak is another frontline item. Nunu doesn't matter. Rod. I guess I could go Adaptive if I really wanted. But we'll get Karma back in. I do like the Gwyn unit a lot. Feels like a real carry. But I feel like I'm not going to do it yet. I guess I can do something like this. I tried to remove her that last second and didn't do it in time. I'm at least going to fast 9 here. It just makes sense to fast 9, even if I lose some health doing it. Because I need Kale. I mean, 40 to 100 and 150 is kind of crazy. So we get to see one of the crazy verticals in this game. I mean, Pandora's items is definitely not it. Explosive growth actually could be it, just to try and level faster. I'm down with that. Normally I'm not, but I'm down with it here. I was thinking I could go Adaptive. This tier should probably just be here. This should be here. Move around a little bit. I could build Ionic as well, but that doesn't seem very good here. Does this guy have a Tactician's Crown at all? No. I want to watch this guy, I think, for his next loss to see what he gets, because it should be once people fall below 40, they all get the same thing. If that's the case, I definitely just want to see it. See it early. Bang. I love the Cinder unit. He was like, hey, get away from there. Tosses him at the back line. This guy actually might go below 40 from this fight. Bumblebee? He did. Okay, time to watch him. A lot of gold. And... Spat. And a couple items that a champion do. Okay. So I know I'm going to get another spat. That's kind of crazy to know. The rod should be on Velkaz as well. In hindsight. Yeah, Syndra keeps sending this pike away, and then he comes back and just stuns everyone. It's like it doesn't even matter. I'm going to save some gold and then let the explosive growth level me the rest of the way to nine. Then I can find Kale and just try and go from there. Or you could give me that Kale, but I don't think that's ever happening. Hanging Cloak, Hanging Rod, Hanging Tear. So I want Glove, Rod... Or armor, probably. I'm going to take armor if I can. It's also on the most gold. I could level here. Level here, throw in Dawnbringer. I could level here and throw in the Legionnaire. Or Sejuani. I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to move these items over to Galio, though. He still isn't repositioning his throughout at all. But he is going to crush me this time. I mean, this fight is not even close. I might be able to fast 10 here if I really want instead. I just need to look at what it looks like after PvE round. Because if I let myself lose one more, I'm going to get gold and a spad. And I might actually not do anything with that spad. Or I might use it to like spat a different unit. So I leveled. I can throw in 
the Varus for now. I think I could fast 10 here. Just fast 10 and then, yeah. Makes a lot more sense. And then I can play Garen over Galio for a night. Play Garen over Galio. I don't play Auction because I don't think Ranger does anything. I'd honestly rather just play Karma. It gives me Dawnbringer and Invoker, but I lose out on some value from Vertically Inclined probably. I mean, not that much. It's not If it's not that much, yeah, it's fine. I need one more throw from the Syndra to save some health. Oh, it threw in the wrong spot. I did throw the Fiddlestick to where he was stuck behind these two. Oh, here's another Karma. Bow Belt Spat. You know, I'm kind of fine with just having a Nashers, honestly. I'm probably not using this bat at all. I'm definitely going straight to 10, though, for the 10 redeemed. Glove. Cloak. I'll hold the Lux. Right, straight to 10. Velkaz. Velkaz 2. There's a Garen. Extra Velkaz. Karma 2. Kale. So it's out you. I need to slam Nashers. That way I can get in the 10 redeemed. I did get my Hodge, though, so I have best in slot for my Kale. I just need to move it, and then I can build Spark on something. Or I could... Uh, I should open this first. I'm gonna build Ravidons. Alright, that tin was not as good as I expected it to be. That tin should definitely be better. Or feel better. Anytime you hit 10 something, you always want it to be very good. Velkaz dealt a lot of damage, though. I also just don't have Kale 2 yet. There's a Kale, there's a Velkaz, a Rel. Another Velkaz. That means, like, Velkaz 3 is actually possible. Still on Aatrox 1. I have to buy that Velkaz, though, even if it means selling off a pair. So, Carousel, my best option would just always be finding a. Uh, item for my Velkaz, a third item. Go, go, Kale. That fight was not close. Kale 2 is a big upgrade for me. I lost to this guy last time. I'm fine with leaving the items on Rel. I just take my Kale. I will say this comp has way too many backliners and too few frontliners. I guess I could take Ivern over Karma, maybe, but then I lose Dawnbringer. But Dawnbringer doesn't actually do that much. I kind of like that. I think I'm going to try and do that. Ivern over Karma. This fight was very close. Go, Kale. Gives me more vertically in kind value if I do that. I mean, if I take, like, I'm taking the Velkos. That puts me one off of the Velkos three. I don't need any of those. I mean, that's a Varus. There's Velkos three. Let's go. The three star Velkos. Who do I sell for it? Sell Rel? Probably. Go Velkos three. Give him a protector's vow. <laughs> this is the guy I lost to last time. Hopefully Velkaz 3 is a big enough difference. Even though it has a Protector's Foul on it. Definitely not the best items. He's going for Karma 3. There's Ivern. I do actually think that... Uh, oh, there's a Diana 3. Hey, that's an Assassin 3 star though. And he's trying to target it on mine, which is not good. Uh, this is how we fix that. We go Nashers, Rabadon's Edge of Night, Hodge, Rageblade, and then you can have Protector's Vow. And I did fight him, and he's positioned right. I am very glad that I have this uh, Invoker in. Right, I should be fine. We're just stunning it over and over. Hopefully I should be fine. Oh, there we go. Top four. 
It'll probably be top two, me versus the Diana guy. Extra Ivern. Let's just swap these out now. Five traits in. Now I get four traits in. Yeah, that's way better. Is he going for a Felios now? He's going for another one. He might hit. Meanwhile, I'm still stuck on Rel 1. I got another Velkos. I don't need that. Another Velkos. Cool. All right, Spear of Shojin. Yeah, I will take that and then replace Nashers. And then this can honestly be Red Buff. There's Ivern 2, Rel, Garen 2, Rel 2, Extra Rel. All right, Remover, Spear of Shojin, Edge of Night, Rabadons. Nashers can just go here. Last second, we swap sides. Oh, he hit the Aphelios. Oh, and this guy has Fiddlesticks and Galio. Everyone's going crazy. This guy has Fiddle Galio. We have an Aphelios and a uh, Diana on the other side. And then I just have Velkaz. And I beat him. That's top two. And he lost a ghost. That's very good news. Extra Ivern. I mean, him losing to ghost is very, very good for me. I am 10 redeemed, though. That 100 armor. I'm going to swap sides again. He did swap sides again. He read me, I think. Yeah, he did. But still, this is a better side for me if I end up with the, uh, the ult from the Velkaz. Because then, yeah, that's why. We threw the Diana back there and then ulted with Velkaz. Come on, take out the Diana. Yes, we got her. Hey, is he dead? Hey, that's a first. First with Velkaz 310 redeemed. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know down below.